In this tutorial, I'll show you the easiest way how to animate this liquid glass pop-up animation in DaVinci Resolve. There are two things we need. The first thing is here, the clip where my phone lays here on this table. And this is just a basic shot from my phone. And the second thing is I've done here a screen recording from my home screen with a black background. So it's way easier to remove this background later in post-production. And then simply the message pops in from my girlfriend. And you see we have here this liquid glass pop-up animation and we just take this out of the screen recording and put it into our scene. And this is pretty much everything you need. I've put a link down in the description below where you can download all the footage you need completely for free so you can rebuild it together with me. First, we need to prepare here the screen recording clip. Go to the right side to the inspector and here on cropping, we need to crop the top so all these numbers are away and we crop the bottom just a little bit so this white bar is gone just like that but not more because down here we have this pop-up animation so don't crop more down there so it pops in right away here and then at the end i want that the animation pops away so it doesn't stay like that so it goes away again so that means i trim this clip right here Copy this clip over by holding down Option or Alt. Go here to change clip speed and click here on reverse speed. So when we play it, you see the animation disappears at the end. So I just align it here to the end of the clip. So when you play it, the animation comes and it disappears. And this is the whole preparing that we need. We create with this upper section a new compound clip and then we're done with the preparation. Select both clips and create with them a new Fusion clip. Go to the first frame and jump right into Fusion. Here in the Fusion page, delete both Merge and the background nodes. Your media in one should be your clip with the phone. So connect it with the media out. And your media in two is the clip with the screen recording. But first, before we connect it, we want to track here the scene so the whole animation is tracked to our smartphone. So go here to the e media in one, hit shift and spacebar, type in tracker. With the tracker selected, search a high contrast point. It works very well here with this little scratch here on my screen. Adaptive mode, set it to best match and track it both ways. Down here on this right window, you can see if the tracker does a good job, but normally it works very well. In the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you have the point tracker. It works as well, very fine. Then go over here to operation, click on match move. So everything we plug into the tracker is matched to the move. Then select the media in two and connect it to the tracker. And you see we have our media tracked to our smartphone. Now to get rid of this black background here, select the tracker, go here to apply mode and set it to screen. But now you see we have here just a little bit of a border. So select your media in two, hit shift and spacebar and type in Lumac here. Press enter. Now play around here with the settings until you're happy with your pop-up animation and you see only with the contract here, I put it to one, we get rid of this little border around here. And it also looks very nice like that. And to make it look even more like a hologram, select the Lumac here, hit shift and spacebar, type in soft glow. Then we have that little bit glow. In my opinion, it looks the best when we disable here the red. So it's a little bit green and blue. And we increase the glow size and decrease the gain size just a little bit. So when we turn it on and off, you see we have that little teal glow on it. And in my opinion, it looks very nice. Then when you're happy with your hologram, we just need to position it in our scene. So for that hit once again, shift and spacebar, type in DVE. And with this DVE node, we can position our hologram 3D in our scene without going into the 3D space. So for that, select a frame here when the pop-up animation starts. So you see it's down here on the bottom of our screen recording and position it where you want to have here, right on your phone. With a set move, you can make it bigger. So we need to position it right here. And down here with rotation, you can rotate your screen recording just like that. So it fits very well into your scene with the angle and with the positioning. 
just like that. So when you play it, it looks very nice, like it's in your scene. But now you see when it pops up, it's way too much on the top here. But we can fix that with some keyframing. So we go here to the first frame, set the keyframe here on the Y position. And we go to the last frame here when it almost pops up. And we put it a bit down just around here. And you see with just a simple keyframing, our pop-up animation doesn't pop up too high up. So it stays here in front of our coffee and our AirPods. But don't forget to keyframe here the end as well. Set the keyframe here. And when it disappears right here, just place it right there. If you're in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, you have access to the magic mask. So in my opinion, it looks a bit better when we put here a magic mask over our smartphone. So it really looks like it disappears behind our smartphone. For that, select the media in one, copy it over here all, all the way to the end, connect it here with the square of the tracker. This creates a merge node with the media in one selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in magic mask. Put the magic mask into the left viewer so you can see what you're cutting out. Select here your smartphone, click on better and track it both ways. Once your tracking is finished, you can go back to the DVE node and you can place it slightly behind your smartphone here on the first frame and here on the last frame, we put it as well behind our smartphone. So when you play your clip, you can see it pops up here behind our smartphone and it gives that little detail. If you're in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you need to track it manually here with a polygon mask. So you take here a polygon mask instead of the magic mask, plug it here into your media out, and then you cut out here your smartphone, really roughly just like that. And then you need to adjust it frame by frame so it disappears behind your smartphone. This is for the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And now let's get onto the reflection here on your smartphone. So we have here this whole node tree. This is for the pop-up animation. So we select all of them. Then we copy this with command or control C over here with nothing selected, command or control V. And to connect it here with our media out, hold down shift and hover over this arrow. And you see here the line gets blue and yellow. Then just let it drop. And now it is fully connected. Select here the color corrector, hit shift and spacebar, type in transform. This is the first node we need to flip our whole animation. And it needs to be here at the end. That's very important. Go to the inspector and here flip it upside down like that. And then hit shift and spacebar and type in DVE. We once again need the DVE node to align this perfectly here on our smartphone. So we give a little bit of a rotation. Maybe you make it a little bit bigger. Here it depends on your eye, how you think it looks the best. So I adjust here on the rotation, maybe the X axis a little bit, the Y a little bit and the Z like so. And in my opinion, this looks very nice for a reflection like that. Here with the DVE node selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in Gaussian blur. So this gives the blurry look because it is on, on the smartphone and it's not clearly visible here like the, the real hologram. So we need to give it a little bit of a blur. And I think that already looks very good. Maybe a bit more of a blur, but I think we can leave that at default. And the last step is we just need to cut it out so it doesn't lap over here over our smartphone. And for that, we select here the polygon mask, drag it all the way down here, because we have here our whole node tree from this reflection. And now we need to cut out the whole reflection. So that means we plug our polygon mask here into the blue input of the tracker. And now you see it's gone. Simply zoom in here and mask out your smartphones until you've cut out here the whole shape. And as soon as you make the loop here, you can zoom out. Your reflection is perfectly cut out here. Maybe the edge is a bit too hard. So select the polygon mask and give it a little bit of a soft edge. And because we copied over the whole node tree, 
the whole animation stays the same. So it pops up and the reflection as well. And you have a very nice looking high quality liquid glass pop-up animation with some reflection in it. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.